Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to take an essay on the importance of reading. On the importance of reading. A person who wears plinkers cannot grow and be independent. He can only be lit. Education is by no means merely an acquisition of knowledge and its transference to the answer papers. It's a process of growth and of the development of one's personalities. Schools and colleges are places where young students are sent so that they can participate in other activities besides the classroom learning. Reading is a very important activity for growing children for it brings the world to their doorsteps. It also makes the task of learning more enjoyable. Children like to see pictures for bacterial representation makes the, the whole story vivid and interesting. Beginning with fairy tales and children's stories, one can progress to geographical and general knowledge. Reading books of every kind helps us in the development of a child's intelligence and personality. There are books about birds, about social customs, about inventions, wildlife, or planets. They serve a purpose. They activate the intellectual curiosity of a person and leads him to the further, to further reading. A person who reads a great, a person who reads a great deal was usually, will usually do well in a debate or a discussion. He or she will be in a position to organize other activities and above all, will never be lonely or solely, dependent on human company. A person who is fond of reading will stay away from senseless agitation and activities. It's more likely for such a person to develop greater sensitivity and also greater appreciation of nature. This drama is yet another activity which helps us develop and express human personality. It adds an extra dimension to the re relationship between human beings. Men and women who are normally shy and introvert may emerge as entirely different beings on the stage. Drama gives them an opportunity to shed camouflage their inner pains and for a short while acquire a brand new extrovert, extrovert personality. The drama is in many ways a direct of shoot of reading. Those who read a great deal possess active imaginations and may indulge in a lot of play acting in the privacy of their study. Moreover, being always on the lookout for good plays and good roles, roles they, may re they may read a lot. There is another aspect to drama. It develops confidence and a young child can get rid of the initial stage shyness more easily than an adult. An appearance on the stage also gives a child a sense of importance. Applause brings him recognition, a role confers an identity. More than this, appearance on the stage also helps them to relate to others. In some ways, it's an effective check on inflated ego. Rehearsals 
are as much teamwork as any sports event and every actor is quick to realize that the success or the failure does not depend on any single person. It is a result of a combined effort. Thus, the drama helps both the shy and the outgoing to arrive at a balance in their personalities. School education, if confined to the classroom, is likely to be incomplete. It must take into consideration various activities which help a child to grow. Sports, games and athletics have their good points, just like reading and acting. So today's essay was on the importance of reading and how it can develop a child's personality and how it can affect the personality of a shy child, how to make, how to, um, how to change his personality, to move from being introvert to being extrovert, and how to face the world, talking, acting on the stage, through drama and theater. Okay, so reading is very important. It widens the mind of people. He can, he can, people can know more about the world and every subject in the world is known by people who read a lot so it's important to read daily and and make some time for reading so and it's it's also important to read to your kids to make their mind wider larger okay so I wish you understand today's essay. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more videos in English. And please don't forget to write any comment if you want well, what subject you want to be the next video to be on. So see you next time. Goodbye.